Hi, Dr. Lim here. So today we are going to talk about chapter 3 of this uh, genotropy about the very basic application you know, what are the area of application of this uh, genotropy. In this video, we are going to give some introduction uh, about this uh, basic of genotropy, about who can take the genoma, what are the groups of people that can take genoma, okay, a little bit of the product knowledge and uh, what are the actions of geronoma on the body? These are the question people will ask you know, who can take geronoma and who cannot take geronoma. So we always joke with people, you know, from womb to tomb. People can take geronoma from a pregnant woman, from a small child, baby and child, you know, student, etc. until senior, sustenance, they can take a can take geronoma. So before a person come to this world and until we say bye bye or can take geronoma. We, we define the group of people and beings no, uh, into eight groups they can take geronoma. First is a pregnant woman. Okay, and a pregnant woman definitely can take geronoma and it's very good for the mother and also very good for the child. Okay, so many women after they take also the problem of depression, the healthy uh, uh, growing of the child, uh, everything is uh, quite okay for the pregnant woman. Then for the baby and child, even for the one or two years old, one or two days old baby, you know, put under the tongue, we have uh, cases on that, okay, and child. Then the student, okay, to improve their study. Then the young man for the energy, yeah, for, for the study also. And the adult, okay, the senior citizens. Uh, then of course, uh, then for the six patients, uh, lastly, but not least, is for the plant and animals. We are going to discuss this in a separate video. Uh, today, just a brief introduction. That means from womb to tomb, people can take Geronoma. Many people also ask me to give them the product knowledge. Actually, each product, of course, uh, you can have many studies on it. But, but in the beginning, you know, you just understand one product, one action. One product, there's one main action, you know. Remember this first. For example, for the RG is good for detoxification, for detox. GL is for balance back. And spirulina, it can produce and maintain this uh, good blood, the alignment for the stomach and nerve problem, cordyceps for the lung and kidney problem, porea, detox the thing to urine. Just understand this basic one will do. We also have drink and beverage. Now, our coffee you know, can mix with any of our products. So sometimes you take the powder or granuloma, you take anything, can mix into the coffee and take it you know. And our coffee is good for the circulation. Okay, to improve the circulation of the body and also it's good to discharge the toxin through the urine and many many people when they have body pains no? uh, they take coffee also can uh, relieve some of the pains on the body then we have moringi moringi is very good for the stomach uh, those people who have stomach problems should take moringi then the coripine coripine is to remove the acid from the body to regulate the lung and kidney due to cordyceps, okay, and uh, this will be uh, going to explain in great details in the acid theory, okay. Now we just uh, know that it can remove the acid from the body. Then with the vinegar, vinegar is just a vinegar. It can remove the body acid, okay. And you need to study the Krebs uh, uh, cycle in the future, okay, because our metabolism are not complete, you know. There's a lot of this uh, acid waste in the body. Then we need this uh, codipine, we need vinegar to remove it. Then we also produce vinegar honey, mixed with honey. This is very good for sore throat. When people have cough and throat, uh, this one is very effective remedy for that. You should also learn how to use the product properly. For example, a shampoo. You know, what is the best way to use a shampoo? Actually, the best way to use a shampoo is uh, before shower. You, know, you wet your hair, apply a shampoo, and then you go and watch television for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. After that, you go and wash it. Uh, that is the most. This very effective uh, for the for the for the hair. Okay. Then uh, oil, then you apply it, uh, you don't need to use any strength you know, to massage, no. you put it softly and it rub it quickly will do. Then the toothpaste also you can dilute and apply on the skin. Okay, then uh, we, we can also make paste no, to apply on the skin. For example, we, we mix algae and GL with some water to mix the algae GL paste. Okay, that's also very good for the wound. Okay, and sometimes with the skin problem and the itchiness and, and, and everything uh, with some uh, pains and itchiness, then we mix with the uh, Genoji toothpaste. Sometimes the, 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 what they call, the skin also 
dry and uh, have some uh, dry problem this thing then we mix with canola oil and we can also mix spirulina paste no the same thing mix with water mix it uh, paste mix it the uh, oil uh, uh, you can experiment on that then it, you can apply of course it's very good for facial uh, many member they apply it on the on the face so on the skin care and this uh, external application so for the wet wound so when the external wound you know, we can apply uh, algae powder directly on the wound then uh, we can have a combination of the products for example rggl toothpaste and also yogurt and all you put yogurt into it uh, also very good for the skin and spirulina and water of course enjoy add yogurt if you want then uh, gain oil rg toothpaste uh, that's not for dry skin and also the eye wash and the nose irrigation we can also produce uh, this eye wash and the nose drainage no? uh, using this Gedonoma. Now, first the preparation of the Gedonoma saline water. Uh, it's uh, 70 cc of hot water. Now you can maybe put one capsule of algae, removing the capsule. Okay, then add about one or two gram of salt. You just take the solution, you know. Uh, it tastes uh, the water and it's a little bit salty. Now it tastes and then, then, it is good. It's, then it's good. Now, why we should use the saline water, not the normal water? Because our tears and the mucus in the nose are salty, you know. If you use this uh, fresh water, your eye and your nose become very painful due to the osmosis uh, stimulation, you know. That's so why you should always use salt water and saline water. And the salt and saline water, then your eye and your nose will not feel painful. Now we're talking about how to take care of your eye uh, using this eye wash. You, you put a room temperature Gedonoma in the water. When you produce a Gedonoma, it's hot, you know, the wait until it's uh, temperature coming down uh, into a small teacup. Then you soak the whole ice, you know, into the water. Then you bring the ice uh, slowly, 30 to 50 times. Uh, and you, when you use for the other eyes, uh, you new one, you know, throw away the saline water. Don't, don't share the same water for both eyes because uh, it may be cause contamination, you know. Then for the nose, for the nose, uh, you need to buy this uh, nose irrigator from the pharmacy or the, this uh, nose drainage uh, catheter. Then you put in the solution, then you slant the head, uh, you pour the saline water into one nozzle and let the water drain out to the other nozzle. You can use a small this, uh, tea cup or, or also this uh, uh, eye cup you know, uh, from the pharmacy. Uh, this eye cup you can buy from pharmacy. Okay, if not, just use a normal tea cup would do for washing the eye if you're using the eye cup you know then uh, uh you can do it this way to put on your, on your cup you need to go and buy this uh, eye solution everything because uh sometimes the solution they put the relaxation you no know, to relax your eye no need you know saline water is better uh, so that you will not get addicted to the to the water okay i, I saw the use of how you use a cup you know to to wash your 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 water first the first thing first uh, you you need to uh uh, remove uh, the the capsule. You you just put it uh, You just put uh, the the gadonoma, you know, into the cup. Uh. You go into the cup, okay? Into the cup. Then you you pour in hot water. Wait for the hot water to cool down, okay? Then after that, uh, you it's, it's good to buy this kind of water, okay? Uh, with uh, with uh, with a hole here, uh, with a small here. This uh, this thing. Then uh, this, this this doesn't look clean because I use this uh, uh, Himalaya salt water or the salt water you can use the himalayan uh, uh, water you can prepare it you know, then you can use it for many days salt water you you don't need to worry you will not turn bad you know okay, you will not turn back you want to put into the refrigerator it's okay but if not like for me i use it very often so no need to put in the refrigerator but uh, genonoma when you put into it you must put into the refrigerator you know? it can last for in the refrigerator it can last for one week but normally we we don't uh, what they call we don't uh, uh, use it for so many days. So after you put it in, then you put in the, the what they call the saline water, you know, putting it. You put it a little bit salty, uh, that can lightly, so that you can adjust it, you know. Then after that, you 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 put it into the into this uh, what they call into this cup. Now, after you put it into the cup, you want to wash, uh, You want to wash, no? You do like this. Your your, your whole eye soak into it, uh, soak into it like this, no? Then you bring bring. Keep on blinking your eyes, no? Keep on blinking your eye, okay? This thing. Uh, then throw the water away. Uh, put in a new one then you put uh, this again uh, uh, to to bring to bring to bring the eye this is for the for the eye and for the nose this kind of water is good because you can uh, a small you can you can uh, you can stuck it to the nose 
I did. I, I, I demonstrated you the thing. You stuck into the nose, no? Then you sun your eyes, uh, then you put it in, you press it, press it, then the water going in, it come out this way. There's no pain at all. <laughs> it, it's very easy. You can try that, and I can try that. Uh, after one or two times, you'll be good. This is how we do the nose drainage or this uh, nose irrigation. So we put in the water into one nozzle, okay, because our, our nasal is a cavity, you know, okay, then it can come out naturally from the other nose. Actually, it doesn't, it look complicated initially, but it's very simple, you know. You try it and uh, you can uh, do it very easily. Uh, at first, you can uh, stop breathing, you know, but after when you get used to it, even though you can breathe normally through your mouth, okay, and this is very difficult, very uh, convenient. And very effective, you know, for those people who always have sinus, having this uh, nose blockage. Sometimes when I am traveling, you know, my, my nose becomes dry, there's a lot of dust, everything. Uh, this method is very, very effective. To drain the nose, you can use a small teapot, or you can go and buy this uh, nose irrigation bottle or the nose drainage bottle from the pharmacy, or you use the mineral bottle, you know, as I showed you just now with a small opening on the top, okay, to drain your nasal. We just uh, recap uh, the four basic rules of Ganonoma. First, all diseases are caused by toxin and imbalance of body function. First rule. Second rule is that uh, Ganonoma treat the body, not the disease. The third rule is that reactions are caused by the immune system, not by Ganonoma, and dosage dependent on the body condition, not on the disease. Then we are going to explain all these things are uh, in great details. How the toxin can uh, accumulate inside the body, you know, there are a few reasons. First, the environmental, environment pollution. Okay, the air you breathe in, the water you take in, okay, the environment. Uh, nowadays, it's quite uh, polluted. Secondly, it's a metabolistic waste. When you, when, when our body turn old, our metabolism are not perfect, you know. So when you digest the food, the digestion is not 100% uh, effective and uh, there are some acid is left uh, in the process that also become toxin. Uh, then uh, lastly is the contamination of food. Now they, wow, the food is, is, is bad. You, know? you, you see the way they, they even inject in the, the, the chemical into the fruits, huh? then soak the fruits into this kind of chemical to preserve it. Uh, so many things are in, in, the, in the food nowadays. So we try to go for organic food in the future. Then we recap on the detoxification, uh, the water soluble and non water soluble toxin. The water soluble normally discharge through sweat, frame, and urine. Non water soluble, for example, the oil toxins uh, and the mineral deposit, they're through the rashes on the skin, stool, and etc. Uh, we, this, this thing needs special chapter. No? We need special chapter to talk about that. So today we just have some introduction on that. Then come the second. Uh, main reason for bad health is imbalance. How our body get imbalance? The main problem is malnutrition. Okay, uh, the body system overworking. You work too much now. Now just now we say malnutrition now, so it's due to the wrong food intake. You know, for example, you take too much food. You make this, uh, and the food are limited in variety. You know, that will create a lot of problem. Okay, and that's why you should diversify your diets. So this imbalance so is a big chapter. Okay, we are going to discuss it in some other chapter. The total working on Gadonoma, we put it into five main actions. The first action is scanning. Okay, so when you take Gadonoma during the talk, during balance back, there is a lot of signal coming out. That's what we call scanning. Secondly, detox. Water soluble, no water soluble. After detox, no, your body, the, the tissue, everything that is uh, damage, spoil everything, huh? then you repair back. So after the tissue you repair, your body started to balance back. Okay, uh, after balance back, you regenerate your body. Your body become younger again, uh, uh, what do you call, more energetic again. Uh, so this is the five actions of Gadonoma. This five actions also need a long time to explain. Okay, and each uh, action also need a special chapter on that. Here we just uh, make some simple introduction. So first is the scanning. 
Scanning will happen in one or two weeks uh, after taking geronoma. So during the detox and balancing back, the internal problem is reflected to the outside. So from the outside symptom, we can know what is happening inside the body. This one we call uh, scanning. Uh, secondly is a detox. Uh, this detox takes about one to three months time. Okay, it will remove toxin through the frame, swab, urine, stool, and sometimes through the periods in women also. Uh, this is for the detox. Third, come for the repairing. Okay, uh, it takes about three months to one year's time uh, to, to repair the body. The bad tissue in the body is removed and replaced. Okay, sometimes you can see from the open wound. No? Uh, open wound is blackish in color. After taking it, then it turns reddish. Uh, then all the bad blood coming out, then slowly layer by layer. You can actually see the repairing uh, in the open wounds. The fourth one is the balancing. It takes about six months to three years now. Balancing takes take some time to balance back the, the, the body. Okay, once detox and repairing are completed, the whole body started to, to balance back. Now, the lastly is uh, for regenerating from one year to a few years. So normally it takes one year of illness now. It takes one month to regenerate back. Some people, the problem is already five years, five years old. It may take about five months, okay? And uh, now for general, uh, for a general repairing like, like myself, 60 years old, it may take 60 months, no, five years to regenerate back the, the body. Now, some notes on the actions. Most detox and balance back can cause ailment refection. Okay, uh, when de during detox and balance back, you know, it isn't done quietly inside the body, you know, <laughs> the body with a lot of gong, with a lot of reactions, this thing, then uh, it refracted outside. We call it ailment Reflection. What is a uh, problem inside? You reflect it outside. Uh, this is a uh, scanning. Then both uh, detox and repairing stage. Uh, uh, it also discharge and push toxin out of the body. You know. So both are considered in the detox uh, stages. Then when we come back to the balancing and the regeneration is to restore back the body function. You know. So both are considered in the balancing phase, the second phase. Now, a bit uh, discussion on the uh, scanning. So during the detox and balance back, the body sends out a lot of sickness, uh, which we call human reaction. Now, the problem inside the body can be reflected externally. Like the body pains, the emo even emotional reactions, no? and the skin races, turbid urine, smelly, many of these are external symptoms. When we study it, we know what is happening inside the body and this is a big study area uh, we need a special chapter on that uh, to discuss in great detail okay so that it's like scanning the body uh, to find out what is wrong inside the body in the early day of this uh, gadonoma when you said a gadonoma people say ah, my body is very healthy you know why should i need gadonoma i said never mind you you just take it for scanning if after no news good news after you take gadonoma nothing happened then it's a it's a it's a, it's a good news and many people after taking uh, gadonoma, a lot of scanning, you know, then we know what is the problem inside his body. Now, some notes on the scanning and also the human reflection. In genotherapy, we develop this uh, three-dimensional uh, reflexology. We call it hexagenous uh, system. Hexa means six, you know, uh, to understand the reactions. Uh, and this, this is a, this is a long uh, a study. We, we, need, we also need to cover it in uh, next video, okay? Then we, we just give you some, some uh, idea on you know, how the reaction are related to the body. The theory I indicate water congestion in the lung. So if you remember my uh, past video, I talked about one woman, you know, after taking geronoma, she had uh, started to cry, feel sad, you know, and this, this is a lung, uh, lung problem, okay? Then uh, eye erases, irritation is uh, indicated due to this uh, liver problem, then the, 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 the blackish uh, eye, you know, uh, around the eye, we call it the panda eye, you know, indicate the kidney weakness. Then we also sell it in details, you know, uh, when we go to this uh, macro body system and hexagenous reflexology in future. We are going to study all these things in the future. Sometimes the reaction is taking out as an emotional reaction. This is quite interesting, you know. The emotional reaction, we can see and feel it. So it is considered an external manifestation. It's still the external uh, manifestation. 
example of uh, emotion and uh, body organs uh, like you see some people they they, they 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 feel angry agitated you know this is related to liver okay some people they're worried and they're lost in thinking uh, related to stomach some people are having sadness no uh, related to lung like the, the the lady you know in our past uh, video the example and some people they have phobia you no know, they take in they, they feel feel you know that is a kidney problem and 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 some people they feel happy they say, oh, no, don't be too happy you know except when they're happy for no reason is the heart problem another common reaction to the pains body pains are now you must understand our internal body lining normally they have no nerve system for pain so for example the lining of gastrointestinal system the lining of the of the lungs everything so most so this uh, nerve system are spread over the body surface so pain uh, basically is the external manifestation so whenever there's any pain a headache the, the stiff neck like the pains in the limbs and the body it's always external because inside the body there are not too many painful nerve around so blockage in circulation and blood or blood and also body fruit always cause uh, pains i mean if the the body constant circulation of blood and constant circulation of fruit if if the this circulation there's any blockage no it always causes pains also lack of body fruit and nutrition also cause uh, pains in the topical area now when your circulation get affected and then uh, 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 not enough nutrition or fruits go to the area then it also cause pains just now we mentioned that the internal and the external lining of organs do not have many nerve on it when there is some problem in the lining or surface of the organ we will not feel pains though for example in the stomach when you have initial stomach ulcer the first layer of the stomach muscle there's no nerve you don't feel any pain the stomach are three lining you know the first lining have no pain so so that when there is some ulcer in the first layer you don't feel any pain so when when you come you feel the stomach ulcer when you feel the pain actually the damage already go to second level really and come to liver the same thing you know the damage and the inside outside and liver don't have any don't have much uh, nerve inside you don't feel pains by the time you feel pain they mean the damage already from inside touch the surface you know surface of the of the liver the time the whole liver is uh, spoil really okay that's why you should not wait until you feel the the pains in the liver you no know. that that is generally too late early the same thing with the kidney inside there's no nerve you no know. that's why when you have this a kidney stone inside you don't have any pains everything only when the stone come out and scratch the urine tract and then you have pains the same thing also with the lung damage okay however this problem you no know, will cause reaction you know even though there's no pains but there will be a lot of reaction uh, uh, coming out from this uh, internal damage another thing is that when is when this thing are damaged uh, inside the body organs the pains is not happening uh, uh, in the organ actually the pain is reflected in the brain so this lead to lead to headache headache is a common reaction you know okay the heart problem will result in a in a headache in a central forehead the lung problem is both side of the forehead forehead the stomach problem will be on the top central okay and the liver at the side they mean uh, the stomach the liver is at the eye eye area you know near to the eye the kidney then at the back of the of the head okay and uh, the locality of the reflections are covered in the hexogenous reflexology so when we study hexogenous reflexology we are going to cover the topical area of all the organs when come to detox uh, is a huge topic okay we should need a special video on that what you need to know today is that detox occur naturally you know you need not to worry about how to detox the body okay certain people they they, they ask me to give them the formula to detox no need you just take the products and uh, you detox uh, naturally okay now detox always use the, use up the energy and make the body feel tired you know and get a can detox the body naturally okay you no need special formula to detox the body for the repairing stage due to wear and tear and over usage of the body or something due to accident and uh, injury some tissue in the body is 
damage. Geronoma can repair the tissue by removing the bad tissue and remove it through the detox process now. That's why Geronoma is so very good for athletic. It can recover the, the muscle injury very quickly. Okay, and that's why people after accident, we ask them quickly take a lot of Geronoma. Uh, every hour or so take a, a six pair of Geronoma or three pair of Geronoma. It can, it can, it can repair the, the tissue very effectively. And this is done naturally by Geronoma, I do not ask me what the special formula for repairing. No, there is no special formula. Just take the Geronoma will do. It is done naturally. During this uh, detox and repairing, you know, the body may feel weak. But the energy is slowly coming back in general during the balance pack. So when the balance pack, the, the good condition, the energy is coming back. In future, we may learn to use herbs, no? and veggie to help balancing back the body okay uh, for now no need to worry about that so for the initial learning of gonotropy just let the gonotropy balance back the body naturally and uh, balancing back is generally done by gl that's why for those people after sick for a long time everything to recover back the body gl is very important so once the repairing is completed the body will balance back and regenerate. Uh, this is also done naturally by the Geronoma. Regeneration is the ultimate aim uh, for us to take the Geronoma to make the body strong again, to make us uh, feel younger again. And it can also lower down the aging process. No? Uh, so this is the purpose of regeneration. So, Sometimes people ask me, Dr. Liam, where do you learn all these uh, reactions? There's no books on that, you know. Actually, our knowledge on the reactions is uh, through a lot of observation, you know. Then after that, we, we compile the whole thing, and eventually we discover this uh, hexagenous reflexology that can explain the reactions and also the macro uh, organ system. So these are these two are the two major uh, theory, you know, the hexagenous uh, reflexology and organs theory to explain this uh, reaction and all these things of course uh, make, make a special chapter you know, to explain all in great details so now we're coming to the end <laughs> of this uh, chapter this is a long chapter you know, okay and uh, in this chapter of course uh, we introduce everything uh, in a nutshell okay about uh, how to apply the genonoma uh, external application internal exp uh, what you call application we also talk about the five actions called the scanning and the scanning is a big selling point uh, in early day we're telling people you know you buy and you can you can uh, scan the body and many people they take it on because of that also okay and uh, this this uh, video is just a general okay if you do not understand many of things no worry you know because we are going to put out in the next few videos you now one by one we are going into the details and and, and all, all these uh, reactions so see you again. Bye-bye.